Okay, so this video shows how to translate a shape using a vector. So, translation means that you're going to move the shape in a direction, but the shape is going to stay exactly the same size, exactly the same direction. It's not going to change direction um, in terms of rotation. And it's not going to enlarge or um, get smaller it's going to stay exactly the same size it's going to stay congruent to the shape that it is now so we have a vector and we've got to move translate the shape by this vector now the top number in the vector describes the um whether it's going to move to the left or to the right now if the value is negative on top it's going to move to the left and if it's positive on top it's going to move to the right now the bottom number tells you if it's going to go down or up and if it's negative it's going to move down and if it's positive the number it's going to go up so this number on top is positive so it's going to move five to the right and the number on the bottom is negative so negative means it's going to move down so minus six so it's going to go six down so we take the shape and choose a point and it needs to go five to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, and then it needs to move six down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is the corresponding point to this one. Now we can apply that to all the three corners of the shape. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put in the point and the final one. One, two, three, four, five to the right, and one, two, three, four, five, six down. And then we just need to join together the three points so that we have translated. So we've moved the shapes, not changed size. We've just moved around the page and we've translated it five to the right because it's got a positive number on top and six down because it's got a negative number on the bottom.